I am from Lexington. I'm originally from the PD area. I, uh, I've been in marketing for about 20 years as of last week, which is kind of odd. I didn't realize that until I started looking at stuff like that. But anyway, um, here in uh, the Midlands, I started my own advertising agency. And um, I started that because I had worked in media before and, and newspaper, radio, TV, and um, decided that I had learned what I could and decided I'd be able to come for me to start selling that instead of um, buying it instead of selling it. So I started working at a few agencies around town and then decided to just start buying So um, we, uh, we do marketing strategy, we do media placement, we do graphic design and web design. Um, we specialize in uh, medium and small businesses. So we do a lot of startups. We do a lot of companies that just started out maybe you know, one or two years in the making and they really didn't get a handle on their marketing and they need some help. So they come to us and we, we try to straighten out some of the issues that they started off with. A little deeper, um, marketing strategy involves branding, logo design. Our media planning and placement involves uh, rate negotiation with radio, print, TV, billboard, direct mail, online, that, that sort of thing. Um, our graphic design is we do brochures, advertising, business cards, stationery, banners, vehicle wraps. We also manage all the printing for that for you, so, uh, which kind of goes into the rate negotiation. We, we negotiate print rates to make sure that you get the best value for, for what you need. Uh, web design, we do not do cheap WordPress sites. I know that's a common thing now, but so is McDonald's, and I don't eat hamburgers from McDonald's. So, um, uh, web marketing, we're a Google partner. We do a lot of Google stuff. Uh, we do AdWords, remarketing. Um, uh, we are what Google partner means. Has any of you ever heard of Google partners? That's, um, that's where Google recognizes you as a true advertising agency that can sell all the things we do. So they say, well, if they can sell radio, TV, newspaper, they can do our products too. So um, promotional products we do, we have uh, several vendors that we use for logo items. It depends on the budget. And we do get deep discounts for that as well. All right. None of that can happen if you don't get a good grasp of your brand. So I found this quote the other day and I really like it. Your brand is what your potential, your existing, and your former clients say about you. So every one of us has at least one of those. Uh, we don't like to, to acknowledge the former ones, but they're there and they do talk about you. But you have the power to manage what they say and that's through your branding. Your branding, branding for a web guy is different from branding from a, uh, a print shop or a banner company or somebody like that. In reality, branding is all of these. Your logo, your colors, your fonts, your printing, your phone greeting, when, when somebody calls you, how you answer the phone, the way you dress, the inside of your building, the outside of your building. The signage that you have out front, the signage you have inside, your employees' behavior, how you handle problems, your elevator speech, um, your customer service, which is kind of handling problems, but it's more in itself, um, your website, how that looks, and your social media. And I put etc. because there's a lot of other things depending on what type of uh, company you have. We have some that we do trade shows for, and. Sometimes that's the first time anybody's ever seen that company in a trade show. All right, this is a case study. Anybody ever heard of Jamestown Coffee? Um, I brought this up because of Cromers. Um, Jamestown, there's a deep history there. Um, Jamestown, uh, James Kirk uh, came to me and said, I want to start a, a coffee shop at Lexington. I don't know what to name it. I don't know, I don't know anything, and I need you to help. So we came up with the name, uh, logo, and the concept. We did all the environmental marketing, which is all the, the way you feel when you first walk into a, a building. Um, all the wall art we designed and printed all the wall art in there, uh, all the 
the signage outside and inside, did the menu, the advertising, and um, some of the employees we hired back there. But anyway, um, Jamestown uh, was was pretty successful. A lot of people liked them, and the only reason why they failed was it had nothing to do with marketing. So, uh, <laughs> so, so to slide that in. There. Yeah, I had to tell that to somebody asked me one time. Why are they still around? Um, all their assets are actually back here, including their most valuable employee. Um, all right, our target customer is, you know, like I said, new and existing businesses. We do lawyers, we do um, doctors, we do retail, we do business to business. We've got an insurance company in here that we do. Um, we do a lot of stuff. Um, and everybody needs what we do. So that's, that's why we're very diverse and do all the things we do. Um, why do you need us? Every business needs a marketing manager, marketing department, or an advertising agency. And we can help with all three of those. We are the agency, but we also can help with your managers and your departments. Uh, we're different because we're not a web company. Uh, you go out and you hear people saying, you know, we, we do this, that, we're, a, we're an ad agency, and you find out all they do is web stuff and all the other stuff they farm out. And they really don't get involved in that kind of stuff. We do all our stuff. We don't farm this stuff out. Uh, we stress over details. We're a little OCD. Um, we have 20 years experience. We're diverse. We understand business as it is supposed to be conducted. Um, business model, real quick. We're virtual. All our people work out of their houses. Um, gives us no overhead, which is keeps our costs down. I used to work in an agency uptown here, and their biggest cost was their lease and just running the building itself, and it drove prices up. <coughs> um, we're project-based, we're not hour-based. We're, um, we, like I said earlier, we utilize agency discounts to keep our prices low. And we've got a vast network of resources that we use for each individual project. Uh, Five-year goals, increase our accounts by 100%. There's a big swing toward a lot of web stuff, and we want to try to pull back into some more media buying stuff. Um, we uh, want to take on at least one more experienced consultant. And um, this is the hardest part, transforming the perception of ad agencies in the small business owner's mind. That's going to take years to do, but we'll see if we can do it. And that's it.